Hi, I'm Sine Fair Vital. In each episode, I talk about or do whatever you say in the comments. In today's episode, I want to talk about how to, or rather, what kind of hair accessories you can get as a cute big boy. Um, so, essentially, uh, somebody who's not uh, on a children age level, because then it's, you know, reasonably, uh, I guess, you know, normal if you have some hair accessories there, I guess. Um, but for the most part, we're talking about, you know, if you're adults, if you're an adult, uh, you might uh, want to consider some nice hair accessories, even if you're a boy. Um, because they, and uh, you kind of have to think about where these hair accessories come from, they're not just for decoration, they also have real purposes. Uh, and that, you know, comes into play, especially if you have long hair. Of course, if you have very short hair or no hair at all, then it's going to be very difficult to get hair accessories. But if you have long hair, um, then you can get yourself some nice, rather girly, I guess, accessories. But that's also kind of part of the excitement. And um, you can kind of uh, be cute, even though you're a boy and, uh, you know, people might uh, suspect you're very manly. But actually, you're just very cute. So, yeah, let's start off with my, yeah, is that my favorite? It's probably my favorite in terms of decoration. It's also very ABD-ish and childish, I guess. And these are hair clips. Where am I, like, going? Like, where's the monster here? Puke. A puke, puke. What? Okay, maybe it's time to go somewhere else. <laughs> Wait, that's one of these. Like, I mean, please hunt the monster for me. Um, I don't know, maybe Lucifer can do something about this. Uh, seems to be hunting with us. Where is Lucifer? Hello? Oh, there he is. And, um, yeah, Lucifer also could use some uh, hair clips. Uh, that first kind of recommendation. Because these hair clips, I guess they're very really childish, so that makes sense kind of as an ABDL, from ABDL perspective, to get hair clips. Uh, very cute, very childish, also available in very various kind of motors. And you can literally get the kind of toddler ones um, with like lots of toddler motors and stuff. Because, uh, you know, they just, they don't need to fit in that sense. They just need to, you know, be able to contain some hair. And, uh, you know, you, you know, hair is always the same kind of size in that sense. And the baby doesn't have exactly more hair in that sense for hair clips at the very least. So you can get toddler hair clips um, and use them for yourself. Uh, and you know, you can use them of course if you're too shy to go outside with them. You can use them in your house and stuff. Um, or you can just go outside with them and stuff. And if you're using or if you're trying to get... Oh my battery is running low. Let me just check. 19%. That's not what I consider low. You know, 1% is low. But yeah. You basically can use an excuse if you have long hair, and that is uh, your hair constantly gets in the way of your vision. That's why you, you're you forced to use hair clips, and there's nothing you can do. And you don't want to cut your hair because you like long hair, so you have to use hair clips. And that's a very valid kind of, uh, you know, excuse in that sense. <laughs> it is still an excuse though, but... Wow, that's like a very nice island here. But what are we doing here? Where, where's the puke thingy? Oh, up here? Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, get yourself some nice toddler hair clips or whatever design you prefer. And uh, then you can basically run around with them. Again, make sure to grow out your hair properly uh, so that you can have a nice excuse. And then you can put your bangs basically in order. Um, and you know, there's also various anime characters that have like hair clips that are, I guess, less like girly and less like toddlerish. Uh, there's, for example, I think it was called Yoshino, Yoshino something, something uh, from Zetsu no Tempest. Uh, he has like a crust hair clip, or he has like crust hair clips on like one, one side of his head. And, you know, that's one example. He does look a bit girly, I must say, but 
Uh, you know, that's also kind of part of the excitement. Why exactly is this thing again here? Like, wasn't that like one of the additions to this Mods on the World thing? Yeah, some kind of... Wasn't that like collaboration or something? Is that like a native Monster Hunter monster? Anyway, I'm not going anywhere near that, so I guess... Uh, where's the Puke thingy? Wait, what are we doing? The Puke thingy is literally over there. So let's just, you know, get somewhere else. Unless I'm not seeing where the real Puke is, but I do think I'm the yellow arrow on the map. Yeah. And the Puke is like over there. So again, let's just find that. And then let's continue with the hair clip. Uh, so yeah, I recommend to use the hair clip and again uh, to adjust your bangs to so they're not dangling in front of your vision uh, It's pretty nice. I can highly recommend if you're kind of you know not really pleased with not seeing much um, And I can also assure you that it's very nice to have a full field of vision and not to have kind of loss of depth vision and stuff if one eye gets constantly overhung by bangs um, for example, right now I'm using a headset to kind of keep my bangs back uh, and that's very helpful because otherwise my webcam can pick up uh, my cute facial expressions. So yeah, what is that? Is that a mushroom? It looks like wood. It's like some artificial mushroom. Ooh, the puke is... Uh, Trying to get my attention. I'm not sure why everyone is hunting the Rajan thingy. I was licked again. I mean, that seems to be a common theme among these monsters. But yeah. So, air clips, very cute, uh, very accessible. You don't need to worry about sizes and stuff. You can get toddler ones and baby ones. Uh, there's like hair clips with all sorts of extra decorations, like glue to it. Um, so that's also really nice and they, are, they have an excuse you can use and if, they, if somebody asks you after you told them you need them for your banks, why did you use one that has like, uh, you know, baby motors on it and pacifies and stuff and then you can just say, well, I didn't have one ready so I just uh, got one from my uh, sister <laughs> or whatever fits. Well, from a relative, that is probably the most uh, less concrete thing you can say. So you just got some from a relative um, as a solution, and um, yeah, uh, and uh, you know you got it gifted personally from a like from a toddler relative, uh, and you can't exactly not wear it because that would hurt the toddler's feelings. So you're wearing it from now. On. Very good idea. So anyway, so that's the oh that was a lot of damage. There's lots of sparkly things again. Wow. I guess not everything that sparkles is gold. Where's my antidote? And the next one to recommend is a hairband. Not sure why it's called a hairband in English. Doesn't make any sense, but it is usually a, a piece of plastic that is not, you know, that's fixed in that sense. Um, it's a. Uh, basically goes around your head it goes where your potentially glasses would be if you had one and, and basically you know it's uh, some kind of mm, I don't know I don't know how to describe it but it's a it's a not a full it's not a full circle you put it like uh, you know over your bangs so you kind of flip your bangs upwards like with my headset I guess imagine a headset but just uh, less with ear thingies on it so but it's like uh, you know it's basically just uh, you know something to keep your bangs back and I'm not sure I've read somewhere I'm not sure where but I read somewhere that that is something to use for boys or that's like some more boyish version to use a hairband not sure where that comes from uh, I've seen it I guess in some anime where some anime characters like some cute boys have used these um, but yeah uh, but yeah they basically flip your bangs 
up, which uh, helps if you want to have some vision for some time period. I guess if you're doing sports, perhaps it makes sense. Um, you know, they're really cute. Uh, they also might have some extra decorations on them. And uh, you can also just, uh, I guess the sizing might be a bit of a problem. So you need to get probably something that, I guess it's going to become an issue with online shops not advertising their products properly. So you can't exactly tell what kind of head size to use. But from my experience when buying like, you know, caps and stuff, um, the head sizes from of children are not that different from like adults. So there's like not a major difference. So, um, you know, you might be able to get away with buying like a cute teens or cute children's version even, depending on the manufacturer. Uh, depending on your head size, of course. Oh, I was licked again. And essentially, these are going to be less, I guess, less girly versions. Uh, but they're still, you know, pretty cute and um, also more associated with, you know, children and babyishness. And besides hairbands, oh, well, there was uh, Sinu, Sinuzu, <laughs> a very, very telling name. Sinu means to die, basically. Uh, but anyway, so I guess that's a good kind of, you know, good uh, timing in that sense. Uh, because let's just go to the next one, a scrunchie. Um, with these scrunchies once it's a bit difficult to find some that are not Chinese garbage. So you kind of probably have to you know, test them out in the shop. But I do like them. They're essentially like, um, you know, they're essentially like more prettier versions to keep your, to keep some hair and some tails. So you might have the very childish looking kind of uh, side tails. Um, if you have longer hair, you can of course do that. And, um, you know, they're just, uh, you know, some rubbery round thing that you can use to make some tails on your hair. Now, of course, how do you, what kind of excuse can you use while you have these kind of, uh, you know, short twin tails uh, suddenly? And the answer is, um, you know, you're getting really irritated by the tickling of your hair over your ears so you are basically doing that to not have them tickle your ears that sounds very reasonable and you're not cutting your hair because you don't like to cut your hair because you want to save on barber costs or you just don't want to have short hair very very convincing arguments i'm sure and um yeah but in the end i mean i don't know you can just run around however you want i suppose that's a nice table, I must say. I might as well just eat something. Okay, with points. Oh, that's a dango. Eh, I'm not sure what it is, though. <laughs> what kind of ingredients that would be. I'll just take random whatever. But yeah. And uh, are there any other, like, hair decorations? I've never seen anyone actually use, like, a ribbon in real life. So... Not sure how convenient that is, but you know, that's probably going to be very difficult to explain. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hair clips, favorite, then hairband and scrunchies, certainly also to consider. And you know, um, I would just recommend them because it's very cute. Wow, that, that was not very cute to eat, but anyway, I guess Monster Hunter, they, they need a bit more cute eating animations but anyway <laughs> so whatever um that's pretty much it i guess you know look at these twin tails here on my character uh these look definitely not very uh adult i guess although they could be a bit shorter and like a bit thinner then they are even better but yeah that's pretty much it and uh you know get yourself some hair accessories and uh you know bye